Determination to conquer all my ambitions. Lead it to this position. And so my disposition. Not seeing the limits. Killing the competition. Yeah, I'm a beast. That's why they don't know what the struggle is. I don't pay the cost. And they know the boss. And I lost my losses. Now I'm taking off. Yeah, I'm a beast. Now I'm a least. Ready to beast. The least, not the least. I think they know what I want. Just to keep it a hundred. Zero to a hundred. So you have a tomorrow. Are you a beast? Are you a least? You ready to flight session in co-op. Let me show you what this Zivco Edge 540V3 has under the hood. This light plane is the star of many air races and aerobatic shows around the world, and right here in Motor Nation. That's another one of the Crew 2 innovations. Not only does it offer an incredible variety of disciplines, but each gameplay has its specificities and unique appeal. By the way, you can instantly switch between ground, water, and air vehicles with our brand new Fast Fave feature. This allows you to fully enjoy all the new perspectives the Crew 2 has to offer using only one button. From the top of buildings to the bustling city streets below or the busy waterways, the whole of the USA is ready for you to explore. Now you might have noticed I keep scoring points here. That's what we call dynamic freestyle. Every stunt and feat achieved anywhere in the open world will contribute to your overall progression in the game. Doing aerobatics tricks, car and bike stunts, or just speeding up on your boat, literally anything you can show off will get you closer to becoming a renowned champion of Motor Nation. Now it's time to race in the great outdoors. This is Rally Raid, an off-road discipline focus. The objective here is simple. Get from point A to point B as quickly as you can by making your way through muddy tracks, rocks, and vegetation. And of course, the organizers at Live have added their two cents to the challenge by throwing in a few surprises. The buggy A1 is a perfect choice for that challenge with its bouncy suspension, unconventional look, and easy handling. After all, Rally Raid is all about enjoying total freedom to choose your path. With its heavily reinforced hull, our frigate swoops in to save the day, bearing the brunt of the damage. Our gang of pirates is now taking aim at the frigate, and it will take team coordination to take her down. Fuego! Hold tight, lads! That ship's badly damaged! They're killing! We can take that ship! With the enemy ship's broadside now vulnerable, our frigate rushes in to board her. No water! Taste the blackened silver! Fancy snorting some fish, miss! <laughs> Kids. 
is called the ghillie mantle. Right here, and yeah. Yeah, as you oh, okay, like this survive, one, yeah. it lets you go into a little bit of stealth mode. There is a cooldown on it. You can't just have it on all the time. Okay, okay. <laughs> gotcha, <laughs> gotcha, good. Find the right opportunity and hide from monsters. But we've also got the opposite. We've got one that lets you lure monsters towards you. So right. you've got different op options available to you for the strategy in the hunt this time around. And, yes. and multiplayer is so important to Monster Hunter. I mean, how are you guys approaching multiplayer this time around? はい、あの、今回もですね、えっと、of course, Monster Hunters uh, previously had this four-player multiplayer system, so you can uh, meet up with your friends and go into your hub and then choose a quest and go out together. But for the first time, we've got a drop-in multiplayer. So say you're out on a quest and you're a slinger, you can see it in some of the uh, video footage we're seeing, but it lets you uh, hook on to certain parts of the environment and move around that way. But you can also pick up like rocks off the ground, put them inside, and then use it to shoot the rock side and make it a strategic element of you know distraction. So there's uh, additional gameplay elements that had never been featured before. Awesome. And of course, we got a shout out to the cooking meat on a spit. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. You lead the way, I'll follow. This is a vast open world you explore with your friends. Each Javelin exosuit has its own unique playstyle. Hang in there. Almost there. Have you been in there yet? Anyone in the area, we're under attack. I think that's part of Praxis' mission. You can equip your Javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. Oh, there are a lot of scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Time to use that mortar. That's what we built. So as you kind of see this, you're, you're going to see Boomer for the first time. You find yourself in the world. You know that this cult has taken over the space. You're kind of trapped behind cult lines. And what you have to do is basically find people out in the world. Hold your parachute in that very short jump when anything bad happened. OK, maybe we'll try it next time. Oh, jeez. Perfect. Except for all the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see. Go, go, Boomer. Take him down. Good nice. old reliable boomer. Yep. It seems like... And we got a lot of interesting options in terms of casting, and then we found a guy by the name of Greg Brick, who is unbelievable. And this guy is spooky. He's a fantastic actor. He came in, he's playing our father, and the thing about him is, is that when you meet him, he was the one actor that I met, that I act... The army's pulling out. Come on. <laughs> Last 
truck. Get in. Decide who belongs. Thanks. I owe you. How will you choose a place to call home? The sacred oasis. Be my eyes, Senu. This temple resembles a fortress. What has happened? Get out of my way! You will die, Medunamun. It's new, isn't it? <laughs> you know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow. Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. Such miserable luck to die by the sword you helped forge. Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. Tell me, boy, who are you? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who burned it to the ground? That's him. That's the bastard who led the attack at Scalitz and killed my parents. I'm sure we're all agreed that all this unrest must come to an end. I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. We're helping to save the king. Instead of saving his drunken majesty, I'd rather find that horseman who murdered my parents, get the sword back from him, and skewer him with it. We have to put a stop to this senseless war! We um, had, in fact, in Beyond Good and Evil 1, when the characters were getting out of the, the overcraft. So here we have uh, that monkey, which is my playable main character here, but of course you long, and the other one, the mothership, is about 400 meters long. I'm going to go close to it so that you can see the size. So when we have large spaceships like that, the good thing, the interesting thing, is that they are, they are um, a real level of gameplay. You can go inside, you are, we have interiors for, the, for those big... Um, something interesting about the scale and the feeling of scale. So I'm going to land on the top of the statue and you will realize how big it is. So, here we have a wonderful vista. No shit or things like that. You can really uh, appreciate the point of view wherever you are. It will be the same mechanics. So that was one of the big features 
uh, we wanted to make sure that we had before showing the game to the public, to everybody, so that we, we wanted to make sure that the technology was working and uh, this big ambitious game was uh, feasible. Rider of the Black Horse. To hunt down and destroy the enemies of existence itself. The seven deadly sins have escaped and are ravaging the Earth. They must be stopped. <laughs> Hello, brother. Do you accept this undertaking? Though they are seven, and you but one. With pleasure. fluctuations in the gravitational field. It appears to be localized above the planetarium. Whoa, it's a tractor beam. What do you think they're tractoring? Sounds like Uranus. Let's knit this in the bud, shall we? You're approaching the planetarium now. We've confirmed Legion forces have taken up positions around the facility. You should expect to face some resistance. What a lovely surprise, the agents of mayhem. Hammersmith, this is a secure channel. You think too highly of your technological prowess. Do I have to come over there and kill you myself? Hey, there's something happening in that outdoor theater area. Why, yes. I turned this planetarium into my very own tractor beam control center. Agent, we need... See if there's there's some leech here. Yes, no. There's a few left, yeah. Leech is on the floor. Let's just move in. Let's move in. All right, man. The spider's gonna be coming in from my side. Uh, I need to bandage. I'm almost gone. I see him. He's in the center. He's dead. One dead. One dead. There's one more. Okay, bandaging is almost done. We are ready to move in one second. Let me hear my little. Try to get his friend up. 
is in hell. Right, let's go. You I, got gotta, it? I gotta pick up the bounty. Alright, let's go. Du -du -du. There's a player, there's a player, there's a player. You should you should submit and me kill it. He's down, he's down. Quick, quick, the other guys are still behind us. Alright, let's get going. Somebody, shoot, somebody shoots at us. Throw a uh, concertina bomb off. There are still anything you got left. They're still behind us. Anything you got left. Uh, I got a... Just go, just go. Run, 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 run. run. Oh, okay, cool. and infamy. Become a pirate of legend. Just try not to be this one.
Claw Hunter follows in the footsteps of titles such as Uncharted, Tomb Raider, or The Dig. It's an action-adventure game with a focus on a thrilling main storyline which takes place in 17th century on a Pacific island where Cretaceous life has been perfectly preserved. You will get to observe many different kinds of dinosaurs and other prehistoric life and explore beautiful and rugged vistas of this long-forgotten place. Also, you need to be on the lookout for dinosaurs. They may be a threat as well as helpful companions. You may learn how to tame them, ride them, or even fly them. But the dinosaurs are not the only danger you may encounter on the island. There are also human enemies, far more insidious than any dinosaur can be. Which means when you speak into your microphone, your voice is going to be coming out of your character and your character's mouth will move and everything accordingly. With this, we actually created karaoke bars where you can go and sing and just have a fun time with friends. And if karaoke is not really your thing, we have other fun stuff like cinemas. The cinemas are actually playing real movies. You can walk in, sit down with friends and watch an actual movie play start to end functional. It's not just for decoration, although some is. For example, a sofa or a chair can be sat in. Uh, television, you can actually watch streaming gameplay of other people playing Identity at any given time. If you have a radio, you can turn that on, listen to streaming radio, real internet radio stations. Closets can be used to store any sort of clothing that you bought earlier and are not using at that given time. You can take out food out of a refrigerator or your cupboards, for example, or even use your bed to rest. The list goes on and on, and the point is that a lot of this stuff that you have in your house isn't just... For example, you're going to be able to arrest other players who are breaking the law. You can tase them if you have to subdue them without killing them. You even have your own special vehicles with police radar, sirens, searchlights, and the list goes on. now is to use the ring of power and recruit this Olaf, Bruce the Chopper, to expand our army. Then we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. Reckon you're going to skewer me? Ah, that little sword's good for a tickle maybe, but you're going to need more than that to take me down. Nice one, Ranger. Never happened to me before. You serve the bright lord now. Bright lord, dark lord. Same thing, really. It results me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce! Well, let's go!
Did that just happen? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball. It's complicated. Turns out Martin Lee is running the demons. The guy who runs the homeless shelter? Like I said, complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. Please, let me have this. That helicopter is destroying the city. I know. Hi, is this the flight to Newark? Why are you doing this? Because no one else will! Lee, this is crazy! This isn't you! You don't know me! Need a plan. You plan real fast. I guess this is the plan! Come on, Pete, you got this. You got this, you got this, you got this! Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. Ah!